Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be solving logarithmic inequalities or lo inequalities with logarithms in them. Now, just really quickly, when we had a logarithm equation like this one here, what we would do to change it into an exponential was to take this to the power of this equal to this. And we would get 5 to the power of 81, a very huge number, equal to x, like that. Another way, and that's the way I taught it. Now, another way to look at this is to keep the x equals part where it is, all right? And then just simply move the, the base from here to here so that it becomes the base. Of, and then what you end up getting here is x equals, and then you get the 5 to the 81, which is the same as what we have here. Actually, it's a little bit better because the x is on the left side. So this is just a, an alternate way to do the whole this to the this equals this thing, instead of going 5 to the 81 equals x, you can just say x equals, leave the x equals part intact, leave this part as it is, and then move the 5, which is the base of the logarithm, to become the base of the 81, and you get this. So we're going to do it this way in this lesson because now we're dealing with inequalities, where this is not an equal sign anymore, this is a less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we have an inequality. And it might be a little less clear if you go this to the this equals this. Well, there's no equal sign. And do you leave it like this or do you flip it? It might be confusing. So just for the sake of clarity, okay, we're going to be going like this. So here's, here's we're going to solve our first equation here. Sorry, an inequality here. And we're going to leave the x and the operation here, the operator rather, alone. We're going to leave this exactly the way it is. So we're going to write down x is greater than something. Okay. And now what greater than what? Take the three and make it the base underneath the four and you get three to the fourth power like that. Okay. So a little less, hopefully this is a little bit less confusing than saying this to the this equals this and it's not an equation. Hopefully this works well for you. So the key here is to keep the x and the inequality intact and then just to use the base of the logarithm as the base of the number on the other side. So now that you have this, 3 to the 4th power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. It's 81. And here's what looks like an answer. This looks like your final solution. However, this is an inequality, and we always put our inequalities on number lines, right? But not just that, we also have to check the domain of the logarithm here. So in the last lesson when we were solving equations with logarithms, we would just take the answer we got, okay, we get one answer, we get something like x equals 81, and we'd plug that into here and see if that created a negative logarithm or a zero for you know your logarithm. And it, it, you know if it does if it didn't that was fine. However, this isn't one answer. This is an infinite number of answers starting at 81 and going forever to the right. So you have to check your domain by making a number line. So here's what we're going to do. What's the argument of the logarithm here? It's x. So we're going to do the domain as a number line. Okay, x, and then as usual, we'll set it greater than zero because your, don't, your logarithm cannot be, you cannot take the log of zero or anything less than zero. So we, we use this. And then we solve for x, which we don't even have to do here. And we get our domain looking like this. Here's our domain on a number line. It's simply going to be zero, open circle. We'll do it in green since it's a domain, shade to the right. Okay. So this green zone is where your answer may reside. This is where it can work. All right. Now, what's your actual solution here? We'll call it, well, once again, this is domain. Now, what's your solution, your proposed solution, right? Because you don't know if it's valid or not yet. Everything greater than 81. So let's say 81 is over here, open circle shade to the left, sorry, sorry to the right. All right, now, what's your answer going to be? Your answer will be the combination of the blue and the green. It'll be where the domain and the solution uh, overlap, okay, the intersection between these two things. And you can see that your blue area is actually well within the green area. Your domain is not limiting your answer at all. 
So you don't need to really combine anything so much as you just want to recognize that this is fine. This is in the green area. So your final answer is actually the same as what you got over, over here. All right, this is your answer now. And this is what you're going to box. And your algebraic answer, of course, is x is greater than 81. Okay, so the important thing is that you check the domain. All right, because a lot of times, you know, they're going in different directions and things will be a little bit more complicated. This one turned out to be easy. Let's try another one. All right, so now we have log base two of x is less than four. And once again, the idea with the inequalities is that you keep the x and the inequality where they are. All right, so you just leave this like, like that and then bring the two over to the other side as the base of the four, so you get two to the fourth. Now two to the fourth is 16. There's your solution. What's your domain? Well, your domain, you're taking the domain with just a plain old X again. So since it's just a plain old X, it's just gonna be that plain old X greater than zero, nothing to solve. So you can go straight to your number line now. So here's your domain number line and it's gonna be zero and everything going to the right of zero. So open circle shade to the right. Now your answer is X, everything less than 16. So let's do a number line for the solution that you have, S-O-L-N for solution. And let's say 16 is over here. This is open circle shade to the left this time. And now your final answer is gonna be the intersection. We'll just call this answer here. Is gonna be the intersection of these two areas, the green and the blue. Well, you can see that this time, your entire, this is not gonna be your final answer because your entire graph here is not in the green zone. The only part of this blue function here or blue number line is that's in the green zone is from 16 down to zero. So bring the way we learned how to do this was bring down the, the open circle from here, bring down this open circle from here. And then of the three possible areas, the one, two, three, which one of these three areas is the intersection? It's the middle, right? So there you go. There's your answer. Graphically, there's your number line answer. And then we can make an, a three part inequality here by writing zero and 16, x is everything in between those two. And since you're going from low to high, it's less than and less than. And since they're both open circles, you do not underline these. No, 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 let's not do that. And here's your final answer algebraically. And here's your number line. And both of these are required in the homework tonight. Now, here's where things get a little bit more involved. You have two logarithms, both base four. Log base four, log base four. And when we did equations, when there was an equal sign here, if the logs matched, you just drop the logs and solve the rest of it. And you're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna drop the logs and you're gonna do the rest of it. However, you do have to check the domains. And this time it's not just plain old X. You're gonna do a domain for this and do a number line. You're gonna do a domain for this and do a number line. And you're also gonna solve the equation and do a number line. So now you have three number lines. You're gonna merge all three into a final single answer, okay? So let's go ahead and do the domains first. So let's just, uh, we'll call this one domain one, all right? So we'll see this D1, let's do it in green since I'm doing domains in green to keep the D1, we'll call this D2. So domain one, X plus three, and then you set it greater than or equal to, so not greater than or equal to, just greater than zero. All right, that's gonna be domain one. We're also gonna do domain two. And that's taking this 2x plus 1 and setting that greater than 0. Let's solve both of these now. Well, here you're just going to subtract 3 from both sides. Here you're going to subtract 1 from both sides and divide both sides by 2. And now we get those two. Now here's one domain here, domain 1. Here's domain 2. Now let's get our solution here. The solution you get by dropping the logs, right? And solving the equation that comes out of that. So this is going to be x plus 3 greater than 2x plus one on this side here. Now, this is an algebra, algebra one inequality, not equation. And usually the easiest way to do this is to take the smaller of the two x's and get rid of it, right? So that the remaining one is positive and you don't have to worry about dividing by a negative. So let's get rid of this single x here by subtracting it, okay? This becomes that and this becomes x plus one. Okay, from here we subtract one from both sides so we get this. And the best thing to do here is to flip this around so that you have your X on the left side and your two on the right side. This is your solution, okay? Now, here's where this thing gets a little bit 
involved. We're going to take all three of these and make number lines for each one. So we can look at this visually. Uh, we have negative three, negative one half, and two. So let's say that's zero in the center of all of our number lines. And let's say this is domain one. All right, let's keep the color scheme going here. Domain one, domain two, we have our solution, which we don't know if it's, uh, I'm just gonna abbreviate solution like that. And here's gonna, this is gonna be our final answer, okay? So domain one is x is greater than, but not equal to negative three. So let's say that's negative three right there. It's gonna be an open circle and shade to the right, greater than. For domain two, x is greater than negative one half, which is actually closer to zero. So let's say that's negative one half. Once again, open circle, shade to the right. Your solution is x is less than positive two. So positive two would be over here somewhere. Open circle, shade to the left. Now the question is where do all three of these, the two green domains and the blue function, sorry, not function, solution, where do all three of these intersect? Okay, where do they all happen at the same time? Well, you can see that the blue function intersects with domain one between two and negative three, but that's only those two. If you want all three, you have to come back to one half here, negative one half, and you see that, okay, when you combine these, the number lines, sorry, the circles you're gonna bring down are gonna be the two, open circle, and the negative one half, not the three. Oops, I was talking and I said three and I wrote three. So these are the ones you're gonna bring down, open circle, open circle, and everything in between. Because that's the only place, and you can see that here, that's the only place where all three of these are happening at the same time. Now, that's your number line, and now you're gonna write your answer as negative one half, x and two. Once again, since you're going from low to high, these have to be less thans, and they're both open circles, so you're not gonna underline them. And there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking for four number lines from you on problems like this. One for each domain, one for your proposed solution, and one for your final answer. And then also write it algebraically here. All right, so for this one, we have log base five and also another log base five. So we're gonna be able to drop the logs and solve, but we also need to do the domains. So let's call this domain one, domain two, well, not that these are called domain, but I just mean I'm gonna do a domain for each one. So here we go, domain one is gonna be two X plus one greater than or equal to zero. Nope, greater than, not equal to zero, I'm sorry. Uh, for domain two, we're gonna do X plus four greater than zero. Let's solve those real quick. So subtract one from both sides, divide by two. Subtract four from both sides and we're done. So here's our first domain, here's our second domain. Let's do our solution. Our solution comes from dropping the logs and solving two X plus one equals X plus four. Okay, I have X's on both sides of the equation. I choose the smaller one, which is this X here. I get rid of it. It's a positive X, so I'll put a negative X underneath it to cancel it out, but do that to both sides, right? Two X minus X is a single X plus one. I'm sorry, that's not an equal sign. That's a less than or equal to is less than or equal to four. Let's subtract one from both sides. We'll get X is less than or equal to three, and there's our solution, okay? So we have our three things that we're gonna put on number lines. Let's make our three number lines, and then we're gonna have our final answer down here. So domain one, domain two, and solution, and then you're gonna get our final answer down here. All right. So once again, let's just say that this is the middle here. These are, that, that's zero right there, the center of the number line. You have a negative four, which is gonna be furthest to the left. You have a negative one half, which is gonna be a little bit closer to zero. And you have a three, which is gonna be on the right. So negative four, well actually domain one is negative one half. Let's do them in order. Negative four would be over here and positive three would be somewhere over here. All of them, well, let's say this one's an open circle, shade to the right. Okay, it's a domain, so let's do it in green. Shade to the right. This is also shade to the right, open circle. And for three, we have 
Oh, close circle actually. Shade to the left. And now the question is, where do all three of these happen at the same time? So hopefully you can see it. Hopefully you can see that everything's happening between three and negative one half. That's where all three are happening. Okay, here only two of them are happening, right? So you're not gonna use the four, you're gonna use the negative one half. So this is very similar to the last problem in terms of the numbers, right? You have the negative one half, that's an open circle that you're bringing down. But here you have a three and it's a closed circle. Whatever the circle is on the original number line is what you bring down, okay? And you can see it's all happening in the middle, so we'll shade in the middle here. This is our final answer, okay? And there's the graph of the final answer. Now the algebraic expression for that is to put an x in between. So it's negative one half, x and three. You're going from low to high, so less than, less than. This is an open circle, so don't underline it, but this is a closed circle, so underline this one. And there you go. Okay, before we wrap things up, let's do one more. All right, so we have once again, uh, an inequality here. We have uh, log of base 11, log of base 11. So we are going to drop the logs, but first let's deal with the domains here. We have to find a domain for this one. We'll call that domain one, and we'll find the domain for this one, domain two. All right, so what's the domain? Let's do domain one here. Uh, what's the domain for three X minus 24? Okay, log of three X minus 24. So. We'll take the 3x minus 24, we'll set it greater than zero. We'll add 24 to both sides. And we'll divide both sides by three. We get x is greater than eight. And that's our first domain, domain one. Now for domain two, we're gonna take this negative five x minus eight and set it greater than zero. Okay, we'll add eight to both sides. And now we'll divide both sides by negative five. We're dividing by negative five we're dividing by a negative five. D-ban, yes, that means, be careful, you need to flip your inequality here. Okay, be on the lookout for D-ban. So this is gonna become x is less than, and this is negative eight-fifths, okay? So there you go, there's your second domain. Now let's actually find the solution part of this. So we drop the logs, and what we have left here is three x minus 24, is less than or equal to negative five X minus eight. Now we have a three X and a negative five X. We have to get rid of one of them. I'm gonna choose the smaller one because negative is always less than uh, positive. So we'll get rid of this negative five X. How? By adding a positive five X to it. That'll cancel it out and add a five X to the other side, of course. This will become eight X minus 24 is less than or equal to negative eight. Now from here we can get rid of the 24, the negative 24 by adding 24 to both sides. Eight, negative eight plus 24 is 16. Divide by eight, divide by eight, we get x is less than or equal to two. Now there's our solution. Now the question is, um, you know, whether that solution is valid or whether or not the domain will interfere. So three, and we'll do one number line for our final answer. So this is gonna be domain one, domain two. This is gonna be our solution and this is gonna be our final answer, which is what part of the solution lives in a domain. Okay, and once again, let's say that this is the center of each number line, just for reference. Now, we have a negative eight, sorry, positive eight, which is gonna be the furthest to the right. We have a positive two, which is gonna to be to the right, but not the furthest to the right. And then we have a negative eight fifths, which is gonna be the furthest to the left. So let's see, um, for domain one, we have eight open circle shade to the right. And we'll do that in green since it's a domain. Uh, for the domain two, we have negative eight fifths, which is negative 1.6, open circle shade to the left. So negative 1.6, let's just say that it's uh, over here somewhere. Okay, open circle, shade to the left. And then our answer, our solution part is positive two. So if that's eight, then two has to be closer than it. So somewhere over here, let's say. Open circle, and this is less than, so shade to the left. So the question now is where are all, of, all three of these things happening at the same time? And you might have guessed it from the first two. These two have nothing in common. Right, one's going this way, one's going that way. There's no overlap here. 
And as far as the, the two is concerned, yeah, it overlaps with one of the domains, but it does not work for the second domain at all. And we can see that since there's nothing here that overlaps with all three of these, there actually is no solution. Well, that can happen as well. Okay, guys, we're done. See you at the next video. Check this.